وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلًا وعمل صالحا وقال إنني من المسلمين. الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله. Back again with another really exciting unboxing of an amazing work. Now this is a unique unboxing because the first time I'm unboxing a book that doesn't actually belong to me. Uh, it's one of my very dear friends' book. And before you say why don't you buy yourself a copy. Uh, the friend is very dear to me, alhamdulillah, so any book I have, he has access to, and vice versa. So, without further delay, I really want to get into this. I've been sitting here looking at this box for days, just waiting to open it, but I saved it for you guys, because I want to share the experience. I'll talk about the book once we open it, but let me just put it this way. One of the things that I love about the great effort going on with the scholars of Islam today is they didn't just give up on like, okay, everything's been done, we're just gonna sit around. They're taking the earlier works and expanding them and, and organizing them and making them easier, like the tafsir we have, tafsir al-ma'thur, which is a tafsir where the ulema, a, a council of ulema have gone through the books of the early scholars and found all the narrations from the sahaba, from the tabi'un, and put it together in one mawsu'a, one big gathering, and we've, unboxed it and showed it to you before. There is also this one that we see uh, up top, well you can't actually see it in your shot, but this is a, a book where they put together, and I showed it before, a grammatical analysis of the Quran. And it's not like they did something new, but they went in through hundreds of different works of the scholars and brought that together in one huge work to put it together in one place. Alhamdulillah, this is great work. There is still this need for effort of the scholars like that, this work has been an amazing work by a group of scholars to put together a tafsir based on subject. So it's not just ayah and ayah verse by verse, but it's particular subjects. You look up what you're interested in, it will give you all the verses and all the explanation regarding to that. So if you're interested in one subject, uh, for example, salah or qital or zakat, you can look up that subject and find all the verse in the Quran about it and its explanation in one book. Amazing, subject-based tafsir. Love it, tafsir al-mawdu'i, from the mawdu'a, from the subject. Let's open it, can't wait anymore. We need a knife, so let's do this. Bismillah. Allahu Akbar. You don't know how long I've been sitting here waiting to do this just so I can at least get to read it. But for your sake, I waited. Hopefully you can make a dua for me in the comments or something. At least I'm trying to be so patient. Benefit, inshallah, the ummah with it. All right, bismillah. All right, let's see. Did we get it? Yeah. Whew. Nice wrapping. Ooh. Well packed. So it is, let's see, four. There's packs of four in a plastic wrapping. There's one, two, three, four. No, there's one of them, or, or two of them are three. So there's four, 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 three, three. And then four, four, four. Three, three. All right, cool. So let's take a look at what it actually looks like. Carefully. Not even mine, so. Bismillah. Bismillah. All right, the rest I'm just gonna rip off. Woo! This exciting sound. All right. Mosua tafsir al mawdu'i the uh, collection of the tafsir based on subject. Now, this is the fourth volume here. So it's one, two, three, four. He said nice little, little volumes, but nice. Uh, let's look at the print together. Very nice print. That's oh, interesting. It's actually got a blue tint to it. So it's got a blue print. Uh, usually you find, uh, alhamdulillah, it's a yellow paper. It's very nice. 
Uh, usually uh, the different publishers use either just black font or they do like a crimson burgundy-ish with black. That's the usual. Uh, sometimes you'll find green, but this is, I mean, I've seen it before, but this is one of the rare ones that I see. They use blue and then black on the cream paper. It looks nice. Um, so, introduction. Uh, kind of explaining about tafsir, different words used. Nice. Uh, let's take a look. So, this is the first four. So, four, eight, 16. Right? Yeah. No, no. Uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 here. So, all together, what's that going to be? A lot of volumes. <laughs> uh, let's see. Where is the end of it? Because they... Looks like 36 volumes, 36 volumes altogether. It's amazing. All right, so let's just take one and check out some subjects. Bismillah. Um, regarding the publisher and how to buy it and all of that, like I said, uh, I'm not really one to recommend any online um websites because then you know in case uh you know something goes wrong or the print doesn't come out right then you're going to be blaming me and i don't get paid by any of them so i'm not going to do that but um i'm going to inshallah have this as a, a scan with the publisher and their information uh, put up by the brothers so if you want to buy it you can uh, buy it i will mention here that it does mention that it's the marcus uh, for tafsir the Center for, for Explanation of the Quran Sciences, um, and they've given a website called www.tafsir.net, T-A-F-S-I-R.net, and their email is info at tafsir.net. We'll have the scan and put up for whoever wants it anyway, inshallah. All right. Uh, so this is Mujrimun, criminals, and it's under harf of jim. Um and it gives you all the ayat that are related to what are considered criminals in accordance to the Quranic uh, understanding. Um, wow, it's very interesting. I'm looking at this. It also has, and inshallah, I'll have the brothers scan and put these up. It also gives you uh, the sigha, like what is the, uh, for example, here, it's the harf of ha, and it's huzn, yani sadness or uh, you know, those that are, uh, you could say, uh, distort, um, depressed, sad. Um, so it even gives you what does it, what's the linguistic asal for it? What is the master for it? Uh, how it's used as an ism? Uh, how is it used as a sifa? It gives you some of the linguistics of it um, and that they have in a little chart. And then uh, it gives the verses from the Quran. Where are they? What is the explanation of those verses? Nice. Yeah, so this is where it begins. You can see Huzn. Uh, and then Mafum al Huzn, what does it mean? And then the words in the different uh, forms that have come in the Quran, uh, in Lugha and Istalah. Very interesting. Um, so when it gives you the verses, the verses are in blue and then the explanation in black with it and it goes to the whole Quran and find is finds those words and where it's used. For example, then it gives you Azbab al Huzan. What are the reasons people would be in the state of depression and sadness um, and being distort and so on? Interesting. Um, now what I do really like is when they do mention a hadith they also mention the uh, reference. So, Akhrajahu Muslim fi Sahihi that Imam Muslim has mentioned in his Sahih, Kitab al Salam, and then it gives you the hadith number and so on. Um, try and look for one that may not be from Bukhari and Muslim and see if they give you the uh, takhrij uh, or the ruling on it. Because these, when it mentions Bukhari or Muslim, then there's not much discussion of the authenticity of the hadith. Um, here it does mention other tafasir that it's quoting from. Um, so here, uh, tafsir al-Kashaf, which is the Maqsharis, 
uh, this is where they or Ibn Ashur. So when they do quote from other uh, Tafsir al Manar, then they give you the reference from the original Tafsir. Very nice. You know, uh, it's something different where they have gone in Bahr al Muhid, all the Tafsir that we have here as well, uh, Tafsir ibn Kathir. Uh, no, okay, so this is what I was looking for. Here now, it has a hadith that's mentioned by Imam Ahmad in his Musnad. So it says, Akhrajahu Ahmad fi Musnadihi. It was reported by Imam Ahmad in his Musnad. Fa isnaduhu sahih. And its its chain is sahih. And it gives a reference to Sahih al targhib which is a work by Shaykh Albani. So it gives you the authenticity of the hadith and a reference to where the authenticity is discussed. Um, beautiful. That's the kind of thing you need. Now, alhamdulillah, very large work, uh, beautifully bound, beautifully printed, and uh, well-researched. You know, something really fun for you to get. You know, sometimes you may want to know uh, where is the word Masih in the Quran, right? Um, if you have something like this, you can look it up. It'll give you the where the word comes from, what it means, how many times is it in the Quran, what ahadith are on it, and so on. All of that put together with the checking of the ahadith and their authenticity, authenticity, amazing. That's what you want. You want something, not just, okay, it was reported by Abu Dawood. Okay, but is it sahih? Is it da'if? How is it, right? When it gives you that detail, even not in, not like in, you know, going over each narrator, which would be really good, but that might become too big. But if it gives you enough to know that this is authentic hadith, then that's something that can, you can really trust and rely upon. Now, if you want greater research, if there's different opinions, so on, you can go to the scholars. But great work. If you are, uh, again, if you love tafsir and you love to know about different subjects in the Quran, I highly suggest you get it. Um, once again, I'll have the brothers scan the cover and the print information for you to be able to take down the information on how to order it, how to get it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from those that benefit. You know, just right now, I just looked at this cover of Yaqeen, and I'm really interested, you know, to know about, uh, you know, what are the ayat and all of them put together with the tafsir about having firm belief. And Yunus, alayhi salatu salam, I mean, so this is, this is cool. Like, you know, just different subjects, a fun read, um, you know, an authentic work. May Allah reward the scholarly committee that worked on this and put this together. And may Allah allow us to benefit from this, to get close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by understanding his kalam, his words, uh, in the light of the authentic sources, tafsir of the Qur'an, with authentic narrations. Wa jazakumullahu khairan. وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلًا مِّمْ